We're now going to take a look at context diagrams for use when developing a new system. Basically, a context diagram is a diagram used to give an overview of an entire system. In a context diagram, there is only ever one circle or process that represents the entire system. The purpose of the diagram is to display the expected inputs and outputs which go into and come out of the actual system. Okay, and it also highlights various external entities who interact with the system and essentially what do each of these entities put in and what actual data do they retrieve from the system. Through this display, a systems analyst can model what expected data is going to go into the system, then after it has been processed by the system, what information will be returning to each individual external entity. So here's just a basic outline of the actual context diagram. We have an external entity, they are going to enter data into the system and there's only ever one circle or process in a context diagram. A flow line represents what data is going into the system and then we have another flow line usually returning to the external entity of the process information that they are receiving from the system. So let's break down these elements of the context diagram. So first we have the external entity which is an element that inputs data into the information system and or receives data from the information system. So they could be receiving and sending, or they might just be receiving, or they might just be sending. But essentially, they're either getting data or receiving information. Next, we have a process. When an action takes place on the data, turning it into information. In the case of a context diagram, there is only one process that represents the entire system. Okay, and finally we have our flow line, which illustrates the movement of data from the entity to the process back and forth. The data flow line okay, is supported by text stating what data or information is being sent or retrieved. So now let's look at an example of these all in action. So once again, we're going to use our calculator scenario. So once again, a program is to develop that allows a user to enter in two different numbers. The software is to either add, subtract, multiply, or divide the numbers at the user's discretion. So we have a user, and this user is going to input into the systems number one, number two, and the type of calculation into the calculator program. Okay. Essentially, by implementing these things, what do we want the user to get back? And obviously the information they get back is the result of the calculation. So that illustrates basically this scenario in a context diagram. They're relatively basic diagrams because the system itself all just sits as one circle. Okay, but we can see clearly what data goes in and what data is coming back to the specific external entity, which in this case is a user. So I hope this gives you a good understanding of basically how context diagrams can be used to give an overview of an entire system, basically showing what different parties interact with the system, what data they're putting into the system, and what information do they receive back from the system.